Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to Endless Scrap Mechanic. Now, it feels kind of weird to be doing a video in Scrap Mechanic Creative, because in case you somehow didn't know, I have been given early access to the Scrap Mechanic Survival game. If you did somehow miss that, I am going to put a link up in the top right corner of the screen there, guys. You can go and check out my first impression of Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now, the game is still set to release on May 7th to everybody, and with that said, that doesn't mean that Scrap Mechanic Creative is going anywhere. That is always going to be an integral part of this game. So we're going to keep on checking out awesome creations. We're also going to keep making really awesome creations in Creative as well, alongside playing Survival Mode. Now, a little while ago, I made some really cool modded gear creations that were powered with gears, and they were really awesome. Now, I asked all of you guys if you wanted to participate in a gear challenge. I received a lot of submissions on on the Discord server. Now, if you guys do want to participate in future Scrap Mechanic challenges, then be sure to join the Discord. There's going to be a link down in the description there. So, let's get geared up for survival. <laughs> Now, one of the first creations that was sent to me was a differential created by Marcago. Now, this is something that I did build myself as well. Now, I'm kind of interested to see how it compares to the differential that I made. Now, if I put both of these differentials right here side by side, we're going to get a good view of the difference between them. Uh, so you can see here that we do have the drive shaft going down the right side. That's pretty interesting. Uh, now, my differential has the gear shaft going kind of right down in the middle there. Uh, so from the drive shaft it goes into the uh, ring gear. Now this ring gear is kind of interesting. It's off to the side away from the side gears and the spider gears. Now my differential I decided to try and make like an actual ring gear uh, by removing that center disc of that gear. It worked out really really well. Now this is really cool though because this is a little bit more of like a vanilla style build. Of course it does use these gears here uh, but you can see all of the no collision stuff is being used by the non-modded parts. So obviously this differential is not hooked up to the rest of a car so I've got a setup right here with an electric engine hooked up to this bearing. Now I should be able to power this. There we go. It's gonna power that. Okay we don't want to go too fast. We're gonna power these wheels. Now let's see what this differential looks like while it is driving. So let's just kind of put something that's going to stop it. Okay, whoop, it disappeared. It still disappeared. Okay, there we go. We have stopped it. And here is this differential in action. So it's basically the same thing as what I made uh, in a very similar manner, except obviously the parts have been a little more separated, but this looks like a really well-functioning rear differential. Now, along with the modded gear creations, some people sent in some vanilla gear style builds. So this is one of those builds. This is a transmission car created by Blue Flame, a really awesome builder. Now, like I said, this is not using the modded gears whatsoever. So I'm kind of curious to see what this is going to look like. Oh, wow. This looks insane. Now, let's see if we can't hop into the seat right here. Now, one to six or something was the gears. Okay, what was that? two this is this is not making any sense to me right now okay it probably helped maybe if i press that switch right there i'm gonna press nine okay there we go it's all spinning okay okay we can steer what's what's the gear i think i'm in first gear so let's go into second gear okay i think that's second gear now third gear this is insane i don't even know what is happening fourth and fifth we're going faster oh man this is awesome okay no okay that is reverse I think I have just activated reverse, and I do believe that 8, yeah, 8 is like the neutral. So even if you are playing in non-modded vanilla scrap mechanic, you don't necessarily need those gears. You can make your own gears using pipe pieces, and then you've got something crazy like this. So for the next gear creation, it is another vanilla gear style build. Now this is called somewhat complicated, created by HT Neville. Now. I don't know what to expect here. It's only somewhat complicated. I, I feel like we could probably go as far as to say it is fully complicated. Wow, look at this. These are some very different gears. This is using the corner pipe pieces in these like really nice looking floral style patterns. I guess we're just going to press one, see what happens. Okay, whoa. That looks like that's the... Oh, look at that. That is the clutch right there or something. Or a, a makeshift clutch. Two. Okay, two might be reverse. And then I guess three... Three is to probably turn it on, right? Oh, I'm an idiot, guys. I can use W and S to control these gears. So if I press W, 
there you go you can see those gears are starting to turn now this is absolutely insane we're not going very fast and i i think this might be our max speed but let me see if i can't get a nice look at these gears wow you know using the modded gears makes it really easy but when you see something like this and i believe these were done a while ago these aren't necessarily new builds so it's absolutely insane to see them now i think this is a much faster gear oh yeah this is way faster now here at the back we can see the rear differential maybe i might be able to get a nice shot of it working oh yeah i think we can see that spider gear there it is actually winding around the side gears yeah i gotta say these vanilla style gear builds are really really impressive i absolutely love watching the gears turn there's something there's something really satisfying about that now, the next build that we're going to look at looks absolutely awesome. It's got a crazy paint job, and it is called Lots and Lots of Gears. All right, so this is created by Jimmy Kings. It's got some gears. Uh, we're going to have to see what this is all about. It actually looks like a car, though. All the other builds that we've seen so far are just kind of like the framework. But here you can see there is some stuff that has been added on. Man, this looks crazy. Now, as for the Lots and Lots of Gears, I can see there is... A huge system of gears right there down the center. Uh, now, I am not sure exactly how this is all going to work. We've got some huge suspension pieces. What the heck is going on with these rims right now? All right, so now that I'm sitting in the driver's seat, I can get a really nice view here underneath. You can see that all of those gears there that we saw at the front of the vehicle, they go down along the bottom of this car here. And there is the drive shaft that goes all the way back to this rear section and it does look yes look at this guys we do have a rear differential in this back here oh man this is awesome okay it looks like we are actually moving really slowly i'm gonna press two what the heck is going on three four okay so there we go i think four is our top speed because i think if i press five it's going to put us in reverse. Yeah, so we're going to go in reverse that way. So let's keep it on four. Now, this is pretty cool. It seems like we have some indications here for what position we are in with our car. So we've got park, reverse, as well as neutral. Uh, but this is a really smooth ride. Now, let's see the differential in the back here. I might be able to get a nice little view underneath it here. Let's do a turn. Oh, yeah. You know, I can never get tired of watching differentials do their work. Now, I think this is where the magic happens when we change gears. So I'm going to press three. Let's see what happens here. What is... Okay, it seems to be shuffling through the gears right here. Yes, okay, that is the difference of the gears and the way we change in between them and how it drives the whole car. I gotta say, this is definitely the craziest looking gear creation we have seen so far. It's got a really awesome paint job and it looks really, really cool. What a creative style as well. I love the length of it. It's almost like a drag racer, uh, except it's gear powered. Now here is an interesting looking creation. This is a gear powered walker created by Alex White Zero. Now I'll be honest, I was not expecting to see any walker creations in a gear challenge, but whoa, this thing looks absolutely crazy. Look at the wobbling leg. Wait, let's take a look at the connection tool. Wow, this is all loose bearings around the entire gear mechanism. Now let's see how a gear powered walker actually walks. Whoa, look at this thing. It's crazy. The little legs are like free floating, so the gravity is actually pulling them down and keeping them flat to the surface. That is such an interesting looking thing. Now there's something so strange about this movement. It's such a mechanical looking thing. Oh my god, we started slipping and falling. Uh, but it looks like no matter what, it's just going to kind of keep on going. Now what are we heading towards here? Okay, I see some rocks. I don't think there is a turning mechanism. There is, however, a really awesome looking spud gun turret on the back here that looks like it's attached to some type of gears. Okay, whoa! What is happening? We're starting to go up this hill? Oh, wow. It just turned us around? Come on, it's just such a fumbly looking build. What's gonna happen? Oh, uh oh, oh, and we just managed to flip it, and there it goes our dangly looking legs, and... Okay, hold on. We're kind of walking upside down now. Oh, yeah, this is looking really awkward. Oh, are we gonna pick ourselves back up? 
We almost did. Okay. Okay. Now I think it's game over. Yeah, this is such a funny walker build. The way I keep fumbling, the way it looks like these are really organic legs that are, you know, having a really hard time coordinating with themselves absolutely cracks me up. Oh my god. It's such a weird build and such a cool thing to see in this challenge. Now it seems like the next build that we're going to check out is a combination of gear powered but also something that is modeled after uh, something we could say exists in the real world. Now this is a John Deere two-speed tractor created by the Sheepinator 2000. Now let's take a look at how the gears are set up underneath here. Oh wow, looks like we got three different drive gears. Oh, there's like an interesting tooth rack right there that looks kind of weird we've got our drive shaft going here with two universal joints very very useful and then here we have the rear drive mechanism now it doesn't look like there's any differentials or anything like that so i can definitely appreciate the fact that this is modeled after something and it also uses the gear mod it looks absolutely amazing now let's hop into this driver's seat here okay whoa this is a crazy huge seat what is going on here this looks Kind of strange. Let's shut the door behind us. Let's hop into the driver's seat. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Our driver's steering wheel goes down. Wow, we have numbers up in the top. We've got some type of radar. Oh, now here's something that's really cool. I can open up the front of the tractor. Look at that. We can see underneath it the gear system and the engine down below. That is a really awesome feature to add. Now, I don't know how to drive this thing. Um, okay, we got the lights going. Okay, there we go. I think I've gotten it. It's definitely by pressing W. Now, can I just go in reverse by pressing S? Okay, no. It does not seem like I can go in reverse. Okay, we're just gonna go in this direction. This is actually really, really fast. Oh my goodness. Now, let's see. What is going on here? Whoa. Look at the movement on this drive shaft. Now, how... How do I change... Okay, there. Look at this. You cycle through the gears by using these tick buttons. Wow, that is so cool. This is amazing. Okay, this is such a strange drive mechanism. Now, I'm really impressed though with the speed of this thing because it is a tractor, uh, but I think I can slow it down. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most powerful gear operated things I've seen yet. We're conquering these hills here. Now, they might not seem like really big hills, but gears, uh, they have a tendency to slip sometimes. Uh, but these are staying very, very strong. And I think it might actually be because these are using the larger gears. Now, my builds were using some of the smaller gears, and those ones don't seem to be as reliable as the bigger ones. So, this looks like it's going to be a really awesome build. This is a geared car, but it uses a mechanical engine with pistons and spud guns to generate the power. Now, it says here it's not as fast as they hoped it would be, but that's totally okay, and I'm sure that is absolutely fine. Now, the first thing I'm going to notice, though, is that these wheels are gigantic. Now, I was having a hard time using the small gears to power bigger wheels than anything other than, like, a 2x5 wheel. Uh, so, these are giant, and it's powered by, look at this, a really crazy looking spud gun piston engine. Oh man, this is insane. So let's flash up this piston engine. Here we go. Oh wow, look at that beautiful wave motion. Now right here you can see we have our spinning drive shaft. Now this is our clutch plate or like a simulated clutch plate that is going to mesh with that gear right there and it is should crank everything so let's press two okay there we go it just jammed everything in now it seems like we're in neutral so maybe if i press three as well okay there we go whoa this is so cool now i don't know what spy was talking about this thing is plenty fast we're actually cruising along at a really good speed well look at this it actually has differentials in the back here wow this is crazy is this a differential or not no i don't think this is i can't quite tell uh oh uh oh we are headed straight for a tree. Oh, wow. That was a close one. So, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. Now, it seems like the spud guns are not actually doing any of the driving. I wasn't sure at first if it was going to actually use some type of kickback motion. But those are there to just simulate the pistons firing in the engine. So, it looks really cool. Adds a really, really nice effect. And this is... This is driving so fast and so smooth, despite the fact that it is using pistons to power it. Now, this last build that we are going to be checking out on this gear video is a really, really impressive all-wheel drive custom differential vehicle that also has suspension. The drive shaft in it moves. It's such an amazing 
thing to see. Now, this was submitted by Larsgren Christensen, and I am I'm really excited to spawn this thing and check it out. So I guess I'm just gonna hop right into the gears here. We're gonna get a close-up view of what is going on. Oh my god. So this is the front differential right here. It's absolutely insane. We've got the drive shaft right here. I love the way this looks here, this universal joint. And of course, this drive shaft goes back to the rear wheels as well because it is all-wheel drive. And here we have our second differential. Wow, this is insane. We've got the two differentials. There's also suspension here, guys. So we have the suspension. I'm really, really curious to see how this all works. So why don't we hop into the driver's seat here? Now, this is pretty cool. It only has three different switches. We've got one so I just put one in. So it seems like one and W is going to get us driving. Now, it seems like I'm just carrying on movement, but this is crazy. This is all gears, and I need to see how the suspension is working. Okay, hold on here. Now, I'm still getting used to trying to drive this thing. It's really, really crazy. Now, this seems like a really good gear to see all of the different components in action. So, wow, there's pistons on the sides here of this vehicle, and you can see the entire body of the car is actually articulating. Now, seeing the drive shaft move with it is so crazy. Look at that. You can see the drive shaft bends with the vehicle. And I'm assuming that's just to allow for the movement of the suspension freely while you're driving around. And look at all of these gears. There's just gears on top of gears. Look over here. Is this... It looks like that is a gear within a gear. On the right there, guys, next to the wheel, there is a gear inside of another gear, and that gear beside it is turning it. Wow, this is insane. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking me to make some type of all-wheel drive system with suspension, the drive shaft, and everything. It seems like it's a huge undertaking, and I think Lars did an amazing job designing this creation and having it all functional. And it's also such an interesting concept to see pistons being used to articulate the entire car from side to side. So guys, that is going to be it for today's gear video. Thank you everybody for sending in those gear creations. There's loads more to check out. So I'm gonna be doing future videos on these gear builds as well. So guys, if you did enjoy these builds or the video, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you guys wanna tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So guys, Thank you so much for watching, and I will be seeing you guys very soon in the next one, so bye for now.